So whether you realize it or not, they all work together in, in unison, the whole first floor. Connie directs people to the right direction when they walk in because they can't seem to read signs. But that's the way it works. But we're happy uh, to have her. And we're also, if you look at this uh, billing, utility billing team that we have, uh, three of them are, are new since the outage last July. So, uh, wow, what a, what a switch we've done. And Leslie's carried the ball for us the whole time. But we've, we've really uh, enjoyed having you all come on board and doing a great job. Now, whether you know it or not, they're fixing to start cutting off utilities for people that hadn't paid in seven months because of the outage. So they're fixing to really take some heat downstairs. So we might need to post uh, Chris by them real close to be our security forum. But um, we've got we've got some tough challenges. We've got over a million dollars of delinquent bills over the last seven months where people haven't paid during the outage. And even though we weren't able to bill, the bills kept coming. And there seems to be confusion about how much they owe. We don't have any confusion on it. They do because they want to challenge every cent that you're charging them. But these ladies walk through it, explain it to them. The city council and, and the staff through the years have, have acquired software and technology that actually uh, helps these ladies explain to the customers w what day their water was running and how long it ran and, and uh, their electricity the same way, the consumption. And it, it really does make people understand that they were using those utilities. And, and that part of our system never got attacked by the cyber event. So um, anyway, they take a lot of heat, a lot of stress. And you can see they're still smiling tonight. So we want to thank you all. And I've got you all a, a, a small token of appreciation as well. Thank you all. Let's get a picture, Ava.